Mexico, Mexico. They've got moves. All right, John. There's a meeting. To redeem the time, Mike Shoes. Senorita. We've got about six or seven minutes. I'm going to turn it over to you. You've got uh, a breaking story out of Mexico that you say uh, will be of interest to our audience. Go ahead. If you in the audience uh, are on the fence about, pardon the pun, by the way, if you're on the fence about whether or not a wall should be built on the southern border, uh-huh. this might, this should put you over the top. But this is from Yahoo News. Mexican truckers fight highway robbery with armored semis, Carl, the speeding Carl's. Imagine this scenario, right? Like, if we've got any truck drivers. I know we have truck drivers listening, uh, you know, trucking down I-10 or whatever. Check this out. Imagine this scenario. The speeding cars pull alongside a semi-truck, box it in, force it to a halt. Then the robbers pull out their ak 47 and hijack its cargo to make its getaway. It seems like something out of Hollywood, right? But it's happening on a daily basis on Mexico's highways, Carl. And the mounting dangers on the road have fueled a booming new business as the trucking industry seeks to fight back. Welcome to the world of armored and bulletproof tractor trailers. What? Jorge Coronel is one of those trying to stop these highway robberies, which have more than doubled in Mexico since 2015. So in the last four years, to more than 30 a day, Carl, according to figures from the trucking industry and the government, Coronel runs a company that specializes in transporting high-value cargo, such as DVD players and televisions, Carl, and drugs or uh, pharmaceutical drugs and luxury clothes. Many insurance companies operating in Mexico will no longer protect such shipments unless they are transported in vehicles capable of withstanding assault rifle fire. Carl, that's amazing. It's a growing niche, Cornell said. It's expensive. It's very expensive, but insurance companies are demanding armored equipment for shipments worth more than a certain amount. Hand over your cargo. Can you imagine that? Mexico is caught in the seemingly never-ending spiral of violent crime driven by its powerful drug cartels and other organized gangs. It's not, it's not exactly what Donald Trump has been saying for the last two years, two and a half years. First, the criminals branched out into fuel theft, which has cost state oil company Pemex billions of dollars. Now they are plaguing the company, uh, rather the country's highway. Mexican police received... 11,500 reports of armed robberies of cargo vehicles in 2017, or an average of more than 31 a day. In 2018, there were 11,000 reports from January, just January to November, 33 a day. To defend against the scourge, armored truck companies are coating tractor trailers in steel and bulletproofing bulletproof glass in the windows. It costs around $27,000 or half a million pesos to equip such a truck. Yeah to withstand AK-47 fire, Carl, but for many shipping companies, there's no choice. A single high-value shipment can be worth nearly half a million dollars. The trucking industry estimates it is losing $4.5 billion a year because of violent crime, Carl. This is what Donald Trump is trying to stop flowing across the border. Coronel has experienced the consequences firsthand. In 2017, one of his company's trucks was transporting a load of clothes, Carl, clothing, when it lost contact with its escort near – its escort. This, I mean, they're, they've been escorting these tractor trailers for many years now. Now they have to get into – now, this, is, this happens just outside of Mexico City, right? So we're not talking about the badlands of northern Mexico here. His team used remote control technology to bring – so these bad guys, these banditos, they used remote control technology to bring the semi to a stop. As the robbers threatened the driver, the client shipping the merchandise decided to take no chances. They told him, just give it, just give it to the bandito. Just give it, don't put the yeah. driver, just give yeah. it over. Right? Yeah. Attacks are getting more sophisticated and also more violent. According to Daniel Portugal, who runs Diamond Glass Company, these days they use cars in front to block the road. This sounds like Mad Max, Carl. It, it does. sounds like a movie, right? This, this is a bo- they pull up on both sides. They don't even try to damage this. You get this now? Yeah. They don't even try to damage the truck. They go straight for the driver's head. Yeah. This it, is unbelievable. It, and I'm truck, reading. I'm, the truck now. Hey, I, and I'm reading some of the comments under this article, and, and one of them says, but, 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 but Nancy said they're all such nice people. <laughs> and here's right, here's another exactly. listen to this here's another one i love this it says good thing they have such strict gun control laws down in mexico otherwise it would be much worse and then i love this one post signs on the mexican highways that say truck hijack free zone 
He said, that's what the liberals in America do with the schools. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, a hijack-free hijack zone. zone. That's right. Oh, yeah, my well, goodness. One of, the le- one of the lessons from all this is when you're reading a news on, uh, an article on Yahoo News, always read the comment section. Yes. They're very lively down Yes, there. yes, yes. And most of them are conservative. It's unbelievable. Mike, we got to get out of here. Yeah. Tell people how to find you very quickly. Then we got to go. Tell them. <laughs> Hit, hit me at live. Love you guys. Talk to you next week. Yes, sir. Take care. And folks, we love you too. So glad that you've tuned in. We'll be right back after this time out. We're going to come to the top of the hour. Brandon Big is up next. Mexico, Mexico. They've got muchas, muchachas, amigos.